good everybody my name is Jay Fatty welcome back to another video today we're going to talk about how to tune 808s and some other tips with 808s so let's get right into it all right so first thing how to tune an 808 this is pretty simple all right so you open it up you right click the waveform edit an audio editor it's going to pull it up in edison all right now what we're going to do is click this little regions button right here and go to detect pitch regions this will tell us what this is in the top left corner here. We might have to zoom in a little bit to actually see it, but it tells us this is a G. So now we can go back to the 808, go to this wrench tool and go down to this keyboard. Since it said it was G, we want to put this on a G, which is right here. Just right click it. And now this is tuned. We can go into the piano roll and everything is tuned to the note it should be. The C will be an actual C, D is D, E is E, and so on and so forth. Another thing I would do is suggest cutting self right here because if you don't do that and you put in some 808s that kind of interlap, it's not going to cut. They'll both be going off at the same time and it sounds really muddy. For example, if we just put it on the C here, let's go back and turn the cut off. They kind of bleed into each other. Now if we put the cut self on. It actually cuts itself when it hits the next note so that's really nice now another thing you can do with 808s is go into this little middle tab here in the envelope settings we can mess with the actual length of the sound so this normal 808 if we play it again it has kind of a long tail now we can go into the envelope settings turn this on mess with the attack mess with the hold mess with some of these other settings i'll just turn them down for right now now if we just hear it it stops right away. It stops for the length of the note that's actually set. So we can do some stuff like that. Let's actually go back into it and bring the attack a little bit forward. I suggest wearing headphones so you can really hear this. When you have a crazy attack, you barely even hear it. This is really good for if your 808 is going with your kick, you can mess with the attack a little bit. So it gives it kind of an indentation in the 808 right at the start. So the kick really hits instead. So if we got a kick sound, for example. You see now it has a nice punchy sound with that kick. We also get that tail end of the 808. Now, to be fair, obviously the 808 already has a, a hit sound with it. Just keep that. But that's if you wanted to change it up and make it a little different sound. Put your own kick in it. And make the kick and 808 sit together in the low end a lot better, too. Because if you have them both going, it's going to start sounding muddy, especially when you start making it louder when you're mixing and mastering. Something like that can really help clean it up. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Just some quick tips on 808s. If you'd like to know more, let me know down in the comments. But yeah, that's pretty much it. If this video brought you value, please leave a like, hit subscribe, and hit the little bell. Make sure you stay safe, stay striving, and always be getting it. Much love, y'all.